Welcome to the shadowy realm of classic film noir without of the past. This 1947 masterpiece, directed by Jacques Tourneur, stands as a compelling testament to the genre's allure. Have you ever wondered about the lesser known facets of this cinematic gem, or perhaps a particular scene that left an indelible mark on your memory? Before we delve into the heart of the narrative, consider this. Did you know that the film's original title was Build My Gallows High, a phrase echoing the ominous undertones prevalent in the noir landscape? Now, envision the intrigue that such a title might have added to the film's mystique. As we navigate the labyrinth of shadows and secrets within out of the past, there's an opportunity to reflect on personal connections. Is there a specific moment that resonates with you? A twist in the plot, a poignant exchange, or a nuanced performance that lingers in your thoughts. Share your reflections with us. Your stories and memories enrich the tapestry of cinematic appreciation. What's your most cherished memory or personal experience related to this Mar classic? Drop your thoughts in the comments below. We would love to hear your insights and anecdotes. Unearth the mysteries, relive the moments, and join the discourse on Out of the Past. Every perspective adds a layer to the enigma of this timeless noir. Filming out of the past in 1946 had its share of challenges, with a noteworthy incident setting the tone. A near-fatal plane accident occurred at Bridgeport Airport, involving Robert Mitchum and others. The brakes failed upon landing, causing the plane to crash through obstacles. Remarkably, Mitchum, known for his nonchalant demeanor, emerged unharmed dusting off his clothes, and continuing to the set. This incident, though a rocky start, showcased Mitchum's resilience and set the stage for the movie's production. Amidst the challenges, the film marked the emergence of Kirk Douglas, then an unknown actor. Despite later recognition as a major star, Douglas played a pivotal role when relatively obscure, contributing to the film's intrigue. Meanwhile, on set, leading Lady Jane Greer observed the contrasting styles of Mitchum and Douglas. Mitchum's protective nature, as recounted by Greer, stood in contrast to Douglas' more physical approach. Such dynamics behind the scenes added depth to the film's on-screen tension. Greer's anecdotes offer a glimpse into the interpersonal dynamics that shaped the production. From Mitchum's protective gestures to Douglas' intense acting style, the off-screen interactions mirror the on-screen drama. These behind-the-scenes insights provide a unique perspective on the making of Out of the Past, shedding light on the collaboration and dynamics that brought this more classic to life. In summary, the filming of Out of the Past, marked by a plane accident, and the emergence of Kirk Douglas offers a fascinating look into the challenges and dynamics behind the scenes. The juxtaposition of Mitchum's protective demeanor with Douglas' physicality provides an intriguing backdrop to the on-screen tension. These behind-the-scenes elements contribute to the enduring allure of the 1947 film, showcasing the resilience of the cast and the unique circumstances that shaped the noir classic. Humphrey Bogart, drawn by the script's echoes of the Maltese Falcon, sought the role of Jeff. However, Warner Bros. passed on the material, leading RKO to produce this film in 1947. A notable shift from Bogart's iconic detective roles, out of the past captivates with its intricate plot. Robert Mitchum, the lead, humorously attributed the film's occasional confusion to lost pages in the Mimeo department. Mitchum's nonchalant response adds a layer of charm to the movie's enigmatic narrative. Decades later, in 1984, the film found new life as against all odds, with Jane Greer returning to play the mother of her character from the original. This remake adds a unique dimension, showcasing the enduring influence of Out of the Past. Navigating the shadows of mystery, Bogart's initial interest, Mitchum's casual wit, and the film's reincarnation in the 80 seconds underscore the timeless allure of this classic noir. Jane Greer recalled that Robert Mitchum, known for his nonchalant demeanor on camera, projected a similarly cavalier attitude off-screen. In contrast to her meticulous preparation, Mitchum often arrived unprepared to the set, seeking spontaneity in his performance. Greer shared an amusing anecdote, recounting how Mitchum would ask for script lyrics on the spot, claiming, I never know the lyrics. While she attempted to emulate his approach by learning lines on the fly, her efforts proved challenging, and Mitchum's ease and underplayed style remained unmatched. This laid-back approach of Mitchum set the tone for an interesting dynamic behind the scenes. Early in filming, tension emerged between Mitchum and Kirk Douglas, whose acting styles sharply contrasted. 
Mitchum's laid-back, laconic manner clashed with Douglas' aggressive, grandstanding approach. Attempts at scene-stealing and one-upmanship unfolded during the initial scenes they shot together. Mitchum's retaliation, making faces behind his head, eventually gave way to a complementary coexistence of their natural styles. Amidst the tension, an amusing incident involving Mitchum's chain-smoking habit added a unique touch to the film. When Kirk Douglas offered Mitchum a cigarette during a scene, Mitchum, realizing he already had one, responded with a casual smoking, improvising, and saving the take. These off-screen dynamics, from Mitchum's spontaneous style to the contrasting approaches of Douglas, contributed to the intriguing backdrop of the 1947 noir classic. Jane Greer's insights into Mitchum's unorthodox preparation, the onset tension, and the amusing smoking incident provide a glimpse into the unconventional yet effective methods employed during the making of this timeless film. The iconic line, Baby, I Don't Care, from the 1947 film has transcended the screen, becoming the title of Robert Mitchum's 2001 biography. This memorable phrase captures the essence of the noir classic, reflecting Mitchum's enigmatic portrayal of Jeff. The film, known for its intricate plot, features Jane Greer in a pivotal role. Interestingly, Greer's journey to stardom was marked by a unique challenge at 15. Facial palsy temporarily paralyzed the left side of her face. Despite this, her eventual recovery gave rise to the patented look, an enigmatic expression that contributed to her promotion as the woman with the Mona Lisa smile. As the narrative unfolds, a behind-the-scenes anecdote adds a touch of humor to the production. During the filming of the famous beach-kissing scene, Greer noticed something amiss with Mitchum's lips. Unaware, Mitchum, with his nonchalant demeanor, revealed that it was just chewing tobacco. This incident, emblematic of Mitchum's laid-back approach, set the tone for the distinctive atmosphere surrounding the making of the film. The interplay of memorable lines, such as Baby, I Don't Care, and the intriguing personal journey of Jane Greer, complement the film's enduring allure. Mitchum's biography title echoes the defiance and mystique embedded in the noir classic. Greer's resilience, both on and off-screen, further adds depth to the production. The 1947 film, A Convergence of Talent and Circumstance, continues to captivate audiences, transcending its noir origins to become a timeless cinematic experience. As we bid adieu to the cinematic journey we've embarked upon, let the echoes of Out of the Past linger in your thoughts. Like shadows dancing on the screen, this 1947 masterpiece unveils a timeless tale, that transcends eras, inviting you to peer into the recesses of your own narrative. As the credits roll, take a moment to reflect on the intricate web of fate woven in the film. Perhaps you find a parallel in the labyrinth of your own experiences, or maybe you discover a kindred spirit in the characters who navigated the twists of destiny. Out of the past isn't merely celluloid, it's a mirror reflecting the complexities of our own narratives. Now, I invite you to share your reflections those moments when the silver screen collided with your reality, or the whispers of the past that still resonate within you. Your stories add hues to the cinematic palette, turning a solitary experience into a shared tapestry of memories. Whether it's a poignant scene etched in your mind or a subtle nuance that struck a chord, let the world know your connection to this cinematic gem. Share your thoughts, your memories, your interpretations, for in the collective exchange of narratives, we find the true magic of storytelling. Thank you for joining us on this exploration of Out of the Past's enigmatic depths. Your time and presence are cherished, and your stories are the heartbeats that echo through the corridors of cinematic history. Until our narratives intertwine again, happy reflections, and may your own past unfold like a captivating noir, full of mystery and revelation.